Sometimes I don't think I work hard enough. Why do I think that? I think that because I still feel. I'm not talking about just like in general. Like that I still. I hate feeling. To a certain degree, I know I need it. For Xavier, I can't let him be a robot. I can't let him be heartless. I can't let him succumb to the darkness. That also means I can't either. But I feel so much. And it's exhausting. Like all the time, and I hate it. I seriously hate feeling all the time. Jasmine used to always be like, oh, I want to feel numb. I'm a, and I used to kind of think that's weird and that's weak. And I never shared that with her. I never thought I needed to because I know everybody is entitled to their weakness. Everybody's entitled. Everybody had their own journey, journey before they met me. Their, their own burden before I knew who they were. And now here I am. I don't want to be numb. Granted, before I didn't want to feel anything. I didn't want to be anymore. And I realized that I couldn't do that. Sometimes I wish I wasn't alone. As alone as I feel. With my brothers, I always know there's something that needs to be done. They always need something. They always, um... I don't know. It's... They need somebody like me, and I'm there to fill that need. But nights like tonight, where I wish I had somebody to kind of talk to without having to feel that the consequences of talking to them is going to be tremendous. I'm pretty sure I have a friend or two who were like, you know, talk to us and all that, but what I'm feeling right now, this very moment, the loneliness, the, the wall, you know, I don't know how to put it to words, I don't, I, I, I don't understand emotions as well as most people do. Like a, a, a sting of loneliness, uh, and something like a good talk won't really fix, because I'll I'll understand it after the talk and then come back to this loneliness. And I try to stay downstairs with everybody else. It didn't go away because there's nothing there. The family is there's, there's. I'm not saying that they're meaningless, but it's not what I'm looking for. It's not gonna fill in that gap. I tried exercising. Didn't work. Maybe after I pick up Josh from work, I might try a shower. Like a cold one. Or a hot one. Something to not make me feel this. I don't know. I don't know. You know, there was one thing I could wish for in this world. With everything absolute. Just me. Didn't have to worry about anybody else. If I could make one wish, it'd be so it'd be that I wouldn't feel. I'm not talking about physical pain, I'm talking about everything else. This is okay. Dying slowly like this, okay. Broken. Great. I am so, de I deprive myself so much that my only real source of communication, friend-wise, is this. Not the cigarette, I mean this, you guys. You guys that aren't there. <laughs> I could go out and meet more people, but then that just means more people that I don't talk to. More people who don't get me. 
more people that I always have to wonder what's their agenda. I was going to say Jasmine almost got me out of it for a while. I was willing to kind of be okay with around people. I remember one time we went down to the laundromat in Clearfield. We were doing our laundry. <laughs> Maybe we were just meeting one of our friends or a couple. I know it was a group of people. A group of people down there. and That was a picture I took. She kissed my forehead. Like an innocent act, but it meant everything. It meant everything then. It was before, before Xavier, before everything. It was just, It was just us. Even in a crowd of people, it was just us. <laughs> I didn't feel alone. Maybe because in the past couple of days, I lost a couple of people. A couple of people who decided not to talk to me. Either because of this or because of the way I act. So serious. So now, obviously, the solution would be don't be so serious, but it's who I am. It's who I'm comfortable with. Even James tells me that um, you do you to the best of your ability because if you're anybody else you're never gonna be okay I gotta get ready for tomorrow I need to plan my day tomorrow and then I need to plan the rest of my week and then tomorrow I need to work on the better me committee notes gather everything I've been doing for the past month and figure out what I'm gonna do for the next month I got a couple phone calls to make tomorrow I don't have time for this emotion stuff. I don't have time to feel lonely. I don't have time to feel sad for myself. I gotta get to work. And that's who I am.